an ibex climbing up the face of a dam. It almost looks supernatural. Here are the top 15 amazing animal abilities. Number 15, alpine ibex climbing a water dam. Animals have evolved to exist in some of the most hostile and seemingly impossible places on the planet. But one of the most surprising is the alpine ibex. This species of goat lives on the mountains of the European Alps, an environment that's extremely rocky and steep. Their preferred habitats are between 5,900 and 10,800 feet above sea level, on the border of the snow line far above the alpine forests. And here they forage for vegetation and grasses. They don't spend all of their time there, though, and tend to spend the winters lower down, which means to access these higher regions during the summer, they've learned to be incredibly good climbers. In fact, they're so adept at walking up cliff faces that they can even climb the almost vertical walls of water dams without any difficulty. Something that humans and virtually any other animal would find nearly impossible unless they had climbing gear. It's such a bizarre sight that from a distance you might think they are simply rock formations on the side of the dam. And it's only when you look closer that you realize what you're looking at is, in fact, a goat. Number 14. Lyrebird's Mimicry Numerous comedians over the decades have forged a career by their ability to impersonate other famous people. But no matter how practiced and great they are at their craft, they aren't anywhere close to being the best mimics in the world. Because this honor has to undoubtedly be given to the lyrebird. It's a species that's native to Australia, and while they're known for their unusual tail feathers that are used in courtship displays, the one advantage they have over all other animals is the fact that they can recreate sounds of just about anything. They have their own bird song, which they sing through most of the day, but also learn songs and sounds of everything else in their environment, thanks to their highly developed vocal organs. As well as replicating the songs of other birds, they can also speak like humans and produce sound effects such as vehicle noises, gunshots, ringtones, and dog barks. This ability is an effective defense mechanism and allows them to deter predators by making them think something more dangerous is lurking nearby. Number 13. Cuttlefish Camouflage Cuttlefish are a type of marine mollusk that can be found in oceans around the world. Growing to between 6 and 20 inches long, they hunt other mollusks, fish, and worms, but are themselves a favorite snack of much larger animals like dolphins, sharks, birds, and large fish. With only arms and tentacles near their mouths that are designed to latch on to prey, they aren't able to fend off any attack, so instead, they've developed one of the most effective camouflage techniques in the whole of the animal kingdom. Their bodies are covered in chromatic cells that can change color to blend in with virtually any marine background they're in. This means they're usually almost impossible to spot, especially when they aren't moving, and predators will usually just swim by none the wiser. The ability to change color has another benefit too, because it's how cuttlefish communicate with one another. Changing patterns along with altering their orientation in the water can be used to send messages to attract others to come near or warn others of imminent dangers. Number 12 the bombardier beetle. There are more than 500 different species of bombardier beetle, and they can be found on every continent of the world apart from Antarctica. With such a range of types, they have a variety of different body shapes and colorations, but there's one thing that links them all together, their unusual defense mechanism. They have two specialized glands at the tip of their abdomen, and they fill these up with enzymes that are kept separate from a reservoir of aqueous hydrogen peroxide by a thin wall. When feeling under threat, a valve opens that releases the aqueous solution to mix with the enzyme, and the reaction immediately causes the liquid to increase in temperature to around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The buildup of pressure causes the hot, foul-smelling liquid to squirt out through an outlet with a popping sound. And if aimed correctly, it'll cover the face of the attacker, causing extreme pain and damage. At any time, a beetle can have enough mixture to release up to 20 boiling jets before needing to refill its supplies which should not only be plenty to dissuade a predator, but in some cases can be enough to kill. Number 11, Cardinal Fish. There are countless legends around the world of animals that can breathe fire, but these are all just stories, right? While there aren't any creatures that have yet been discovered that can truly release flames from their mouths, there is one that gets very close, the Cardinal Fish. Native to the Bangai Islands of Indonesia, the chances are you've seen one of these before, because they're very popular in the aquarium trade. Growing up to three inches long, they can be a range of colors and are identifiable by their tasseled dorsal fins. They're usually found in lagoons or shallower water near to urchins, where they hide beneath to defend against predators. 
But there's another danger they face from their main food supply of plankton. Some species of the microscopic creatures are bioluminescent, which is a defense mechanism of their own. When they've been eaten, they emit bright colors that light up the animal that's eaten them and makes it easily visible to everything else in the ocean. Cardinal fish have developed a countermeasure to this, and as soon as the plankton starts to emit light, they are regurgitated out of their mouths. This gives the impression, at least, that the cardinal fish is breathing fire into the water and is one of the most unusual aquatic sights you'll ever see. Number 10. Mantis Shrimp Punch Growing to between 4 and 15 inches long, there are at least 451 different species of mantis shrimp around the world. They're highly aggressive creatures that spend most of their lives hiding behind rocks and wait for prey to swim by. And when the opportunity presents itself, they just have a split second to act. They fall into two broad categories, those that hunt using spears that can pierce the skin of their prey and prevent it from escaping and those that have a calcified club on the tip of one of their claws, which are used to punch their victims into submission. Amazingly, these mantis shrimp have one of the most powerful strikes of anything in the animal kingdom in comparison to their size, and they are frighteningly effective. With the ability to accelerate to 53 miles per hour from a standing start, they can smash through shells and knock most things unconscious for long enough for them to move in and eat them. There's so much energy behind each punch that it actually vaporizes the water around it to create bubbles, which then collapse back in on themselves and inflict a second hit. This shockwave alone is enough to incapacitate prey even if the initial hit misses. In Australia, they're known as prawn killers because of the way they hunt, but are also often referred to as thumb splitters because while they aren't powerful enough to inflict severe damage on a human, you'll certainly regret picking one up if it turns its weapon onto your hand. Number 9. Meerkat Meerkat are a species of small mongoose that are native to South Africa. Growing up to 14 inches tall, you often see them peeking their heads above the undergrowth to look around, and have become one of the most recognizable creatures of the African savannas. In an environment where there are countless predators, the meerkat's ability to survey its surroundings before moving is vital, and they've developed a genius adaptation to be able to do this more effectively than most. One of the most obvious physical characteristics is the black fur that they have around their eyes. And this hasn't happened purely by chance. It actually absorbs light that's shining towards them and reduces the amount that makes it to the eyes themselves, which means that meerkats are able to see much further than most other animals during the day, even when the sun is shining at its brightest. This gives them a significant advantage over everything else and allows them to see threats much farther away so they can take evasive action before it gets too close to them. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Horned Lizard The horned lizard is a species of lizard that's native to North America and gets its name because of the flattened bodies, the spines that protrude along them, and the horns on their head. While the spines are actually more similar to reptile scales and prevent water loss in hot environments, the horns on their head are true horns and are made up of bone that extend from the skulls. In the desert environment, predators are often so desperate for food that a creature with spines like these will still be an attractive proposition. So horned lizards have developed other defensive mechanisms just in case. First is the color of their scales, which helps them to blend into the background. But most famous is a particularly horrifying technique whereby they can shoot blood from the corner of their eyes. To do this, they can prevent blood from flowing out of their head, which increases its pressure and bursts through the vessels in the eyelids. Not only is this a shock to anything trying to capture the lizard, but also tastes disgusting to most animals that hunt them, and usually gives the lizard a decent chance of escape. Number 7. Climbing Gecko Found in warm regions across the planet, there are hundreds of different species of geckos that range from between half an inch to 24 inches long. Most don't have eyelids, so can actually lick their own eyeballs to clear them of dirt. But that's not the most impressive ability they have. Around 60% of gecko species have specifically adapted toe pads that allow them to cling onto virtually any surface without the need for liquid or surface tension. This amazing ability is down to the setae that line the toe pad, and it's thought that these either create what's known as a van der Waals force on the surface they're walking on, or generate an electrostatic charge that holds on to other materials. Geckos can therefore walk up walls and upside down on ceilings with very little effort, and this gives them a great advantage when trying to evade predators, or even find the perfect place to hunt for food. 
The ability is so impressive that molecular physicists have for a long time been trying to create materials that harness the same effect. In theory, it should be possible to make boots and clothing that allow us to firmly walk on any surface, something that would be particularly useful in space exploration and construction industries. Number 6. Tarsier These cute creatures are called tarsiers, and they are the only species of primate that's fully carnivorous. While they used to be more widespread, today they're only found in the wild on certain islands in Southeast Asia, such as Malaysia and the Philippines, and are listed as being vulnerable to extinction. The first thing you notice when you see one is their extraordinarily large eyes. Each eyeball is larger than its brain, and is the biggest eye in comparison to head size in the whole of the animal kingdom. This presents a problem, however, because it makes their heads extremely heavy, so they spend most of their time sat still in trees in order to keep themselves balanced. The eyes also give them a huge advantage, however, because they give them near-perfect vision during nighttime when they like to hunt insects. They're also able to turn their heads 180 degrees in either direction, which gives them a 360-degree field of vision, and combined with their equally impressive hearing, lets them know exactly what's roaming around the forest and where the best sources of food are. Number 5. Three-Toed Sloth there are four different species of three-toed sloth, each of which lives in South America. Known for their slow-moving nature and the way they spend virtually their entire lives in the trees of very small areas, their fur actually has a green tint to it, not because of natural coloration, but because of algae that grows on them. They're also surprisingly good swimmers thanks to the muscles they develop for climbing through the trees, but they only ever descend to ground level once a week to defecate, at which point up to a third of their body mass is made up of waste material and fluid. What's particularly impressive about three-toed sloths, though, is their healing ability. Cuts and scrapes will repair in a matter of days, while more significant wounds take a fraction of the time to mend than in other animals. Furthermore, the fungus that grows in their fur has also been found to have medicinal properties, with several showing promising signs of being able to help treat cancer, malaria, and a number of other illnesses in humans. Number 4. Plumed Basilisk the plumed basilisk is a species of lizard that's native to Central America. They grow up to 10 inches long, are bright green in color, and have yellow eyes and blue spots along their bodies. They spend most of their lives hunting insects and feasting on fruits, but it's their ability to escape danger that has made them so famous in the region, where they're also known as the Jesus Christ Lizard. This is because plume basilisks can actually run for short distances across the surface of water. Rather than using surface tension to do this, they're able to move at such a speed in conjunction with a paddling motion with their tails that it just takes a while before they finally sink. It gives them plenty of opportunities to get away from predators who aren't able to make it so far out into the water. And even if they find themselves in the middle of a river or pond, they're also brilliant swimmers and can stay underwater for up to an hour and can return to land in no time. Number 3. Opossum There are at least 103 different species of opossum, all of which are native to the Americas and are so resilient that they can survive in virtually any condition. Typically growing to the size of a house cat, they are solitary animals and only really meet up with each other when it's time to mate. They're probably best known for their unusual response to danger when they immediately mimic a dead or injured animal. Surprisingly, this isn't a conscious response, but something that happens automatically and also sees them secrete a foul-smelling liquid from their anal glands. They start to reawaken within minutes or hours, but this isn't the most surprising defense technique that they have. Opossums are immune to venom thanks to a naturally occurring protein within their blood and means that no snake bite will ever lead to their demise. Not only does this help them survive where there are large snake populations, but it also means that they can hunt the serpents and even the most dangerous ones like copperheads and rattlesnakes. So effective is their immunity that they're the subject of research to try to determine whether this protein can be used to create antivenom for use in humans that will counteract the injuries caused by any snake bite. Number 2. Immortal Jellyfish The Turritopsis dorni, which is also commonly known as the Immortal Jellyfish, is a species of jelly that can be found in tropical waters around the world. You might at first think they get their name because they can heal from any injury, but the life cycle of this particular species is far stranger than that. When they're first born, they exist as tiny larvae called planulae. Eventually, they'll settle onto the seafloor, which triggers the development of a colony of polyps, each of which can then develop into a jellyfish and swim off into the waves. They will then go on to reach sexual maturity and breed, but that's far from the end of the story. 
If, when an adult, the jellyfish becomes injured, ill, stressed, or old, its cells undergo a process called transdifferentiation, and they will turn back into a polyp. This spawns a new colony of polyps, which will again eventually turn into a jellyfish, and the cycle begins again. In theory, this can continue to go on forever, as there's no limit to its occurrence. So it's quite possible that if you see a Turritopsis dorney, it could well have been alive for thousands, if not millions of years. Number one, hummingbird. Found throughout the Americas, hummingbirds are the smallest species of bird. But this diminutive size allows for an amazing ability. The fact that they can hover in midair or even fly backward. They're able to do this because of the speed at which they can beat their wings, at rates between 12 and 80 times per second. This also enables them to fly extremely fast, with some studies showing that they can move at up to 49 miles per hour. To sustain this high energy flying, however, hummingbirds have one of the fastest heartbeats of all animals and one of the highest metabolic rates. They have to continually feed on high energy food to support this. And if they ever find themselves in a situation where there's not much food or are simply resting overnight, they enter a state that's very similar to hibernation when their metabolic rate drops to just 1 15th of what it's like normally. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.